Hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Hi. Happy International Women's Day. My name is Rebecca Packard and we're coming together for our daily meditation practice. We share four minutes every day. Tuesday through Friday we're live streaming. The rest of the days we're holding the intention Hi. on our own. Hello, tiny humans. Sit down, please. Here, I'll share the screen with you. Come sit next to mommy. Um, we hold this intention together. We spend four minutes in an intention for peace. We're sending a ripple of energy out into the collective consciousness. We're getting reset, regrouped, regrounded, and redirected for the afternoon. Hello, Melissa. Hello. Welcome. And we are taking this time to just make it so that we are more focused and more directed for the afternoon. Because we've started a little bit late today, I'm going to get right to the meditation and then we'll chat. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we're going to ask that you get settled, get grounded, take a breath, and get ready to meditate. We're going to focus on peace as our intention and we're going to utilize the meditation practice that calls to you and that you are familiar with. Please sit down and meditate or okay. remove yourself. How do you know that? Fantastic. Hello, Miriam. Hi. Welcome, everybody. So, as today is International Day, um, Women's Day, and we are taking and acknowledging the women of the world. Hello, Mr. Darcy. Thank you for being here. We want to acknowledge that men and women 
are all in the same playing field in the sense of today is International Women's Day, but at the same time, every man has a woman to thank for bringing him into this world, right? Every family has a woman that is feeding them and taking care of them and showing up for them. And even if your mom has stepped out of space or whatnot, I made this post earlier about being grateful for all of the women who have touched my life and shared their essence with me and their energy with me and all the women who came before me that have broken their backs or been subjected to slavery or have endured um, a male-oriented work field or succumbed to the rules of the country in which they live in so that I can live the life that I have and by no means will I do them a disservice by laying down and letting myself have a bad day or letting the man get me down or being so distracted by the nonsense of social media and fear-based newses that I won't stand up and show up every day to make sure that my kids have the life that they deserve, that my family has the life that they deserve, that my friends have the life that they deserve and that I show up to help others have the life that they deserve. That I show up and I be counted and I rise up so that I am making it so that other women can do the same, right? So that everyone else has their voice to be heard and has their platform to stand on and that every man is able to be supported in that space also because every single one of us has a masculine and a feminine energy and when they are out of balance we are either two in the masculine or we're two in the feminine if we can be Come one balance and be all connected, then all energy will be equal, right? That might be a little over the top. I know that I'm not usually that intense, but I'm just going with what's coming through. And so when I share it and it comes, that's what you get. So um, if this is your first time joining us, thank you. If you're always here, Thank you, and if you are someone who has not come over to Rebecca Packard Live Free on Facebook, please do so. Like the page, see what we're about. I'm starting to share a whole bunch of different things. There's some really big changes that are coming and some really big things that are going to be happening on that space. And the real impact of the work that I do is not just balancing people's chakras and helping them feel better in a sense of self, which is very important because when we feel good in our sense of self and we're doing the self-care and we're showing up for ourselves every day and we're utilizing different tools like meditation and essential oils and um, salt baths and eating clean and going out for walks and working out and all the things that I talk about but we're also healing the wounds of our past, healing the wounds of our ancestors. We're healing the wounds of the earth and of our collective consciousness. And by taking this meditation and raising the bar and truly showing up to self and truly showing up to purpose and truly showing up in the space that we're given with the platforms that we're given, we can shift so much more than our general happiness, right? And this is also the International Month of Happiness because the International Day of Happiness happens on March 20th. And that is just a catalyst of all of the things that we want to work to achieve, right? When we're happy within, we will see happiness outside. When we are proud of who we are within, we will find pride in the things outside of us. When we are in stillness and we connect to self, all things can be done. Like they say, with the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains, right? So showing up in a meditation practice to set your seed, to nourish your seed so that this is your soil, this is the water, this is the growth, this is where all of the magic happens, is in small, incremental, four-minute bites of your day to take you to a space of giving someone their platform, showing up in fullness and really shifting the lives of everyone around you. I don't take it lightly that any of you show up and support this movement. I don't take it lightly that we do this every single day and that so many of you honor it. I am beyond grateful for each and every one of you. I thank you each and every day for shifting your energy to touch the world in a bigger way. And if you haven't already, come over to Rebecca Packard, live free, like the page, connect with me, take this journey with us. We're here Tuesday through Friday, live streaming, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we hold intention on our own. 
and have an amazing day. Don't forget to honor the women in your life. Don't forget to recognize that merely 70 years ago, the life of a woman was completely different. 20 years ago even, the life of a woman in this country was completely different. And it still is that way in other countries around the world as I'm coming to you from the United States. I know there's a lot of you tuning in from other countries around the world. And it is imperative that we honor the women as the life givers and the life offerers in this world. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Love you all. Hello. Bye. Catch Bye. our replay. Yeah. Bye. Catch our replay. <laughs>